All right, hey guys, so here we are. We're at Woolgooga Brewing. We're down at Whoopi, which is also Woolgooga. We'll get to that in a minute, but our old brewer, the first episode we ever did with Charlie, he's here now. <laughs> it's great. All right, hey guys, so here we are. My old mate, Charlie, used to work with the Helios and we're here at Woolgooga at your new digs, mate. Well, you've been right. here, it says new, but we've been, you've been here for over a year now. I have been, it's probably pushing close to 18 months. So, yeah, yeah. Can't yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, how's it, how's it been going? Like, tell me, tell me what we got, tell me where we are, tell me how many fermenters you got, let's just jump right in. I guess Woolgooga, we'll, we'll obviously not a lot of people might know where Woolgooga we'll was, I, I didn't. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't know who put me onto the job either, but we don't, know, <laughs> yeah. we don't need to mention that in public. No, but, no. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, we'll go, we're just about um, half an hour north of Coffs Harbour, so yeah, the, the mid-north coast, or the Coffs Coast as we like to call it down here, so a little town, about six or 7,000 people, uh, yep. right on the coast obviously. It's like 22 minutes, we literally came from um, Coffs yep. to here, it's 22 minutes. There you go, so yeah. it's not too far away. Yeah, yeah lovely little seaside town, um, Ryan and Sarah uh, are the owners and, and run the business, so um, yeah, I've come down here, it's a one-man show, as you know, I yeah, pretty yeah. much like to do. Yep. A um, bit of a freak like that, but um, yeah, i got a pretty nice kit to work on, and so it's a Brutique, three-vessel, direct fire system. I'd never worked on direct fire before, which has certainly been interesting, and I'm still sort of working my way through it, to be honest, um, yep. working out nuances um, in the system. So I haven't worked on a three-vessel system for a long time either, so it was... Yeah. Um, you know, since the gauge days, really. So, um, and how big? How big is this kit? Ten heck. Ten heck. Ten heck. Yeah. So I can, um, I can tell anyone that's got a ten heck boutique system there, you can actually fit fourteen heck in that kettle. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we'll pull it without overflowing it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. About that much room to spare. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got myself into a bit of a pickle just for Christmas, and it's like. Uh, I haven't got enough raw materials to brew doubles. We're going to figure this yeah, out. Yep. Uh, I'll see how much I can get in this kettle. So. Um, yeah, obviously mash tun, um, louder tun, so we got heat, direct fire on the mash tun. Yep. Um, yeah, and direct fire, direct fire kettle, direct fire hot liquor tank as well. So, um, grist case, which is nice. Um, you fit, you know, low, low 400 kg in there. Yep. I think I've hit, fitted a bit more in there, but I've had to get up and pop the lid and yeah, okay. push it around oh, a bit shit, just okay. to get, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. 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 Um, for manners, like, Two, four doubles and one, four two doubles, singles. two singles. Yep, double bright, double. Uh, sorry, double bright, single bright. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. And um, then we've got can. a three heck brick yep. over the back as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's, cool. Um, I don't use that a lot, and I'm not a propagation man as you'd know anyway. Yep. But um, yeah, I have potted around with that, and I will start to do some more sideways projects on that, yeah. running word streams, etc., etc. Um, um, one question that I've asked. Um, anyone with a Brutique system is, uh, how many mash paddles have you bent? <laughs> um, well, that's, that's, an interesting, that's an interesting question, Adzi. Um, I actually had an interesting first day. I brewed on my first day here. Um, maybe first or second day, but yeah, set the alarm off trying to get into the building. I was here on my own. So, Sarah, I can't turn the alarm off. Um, and then brewed and, yeah, I promptly wrapped my first mash paddle around the... Um, yeah. around the rake, so I'd never done one. I've literally yeah. have never done one in my whole time. Mate, I've seen uh, Dan at Hiker did one, uh, Matt at Brew Baron, he's done yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I and that's why I've asked if it's a boutique thing or not. Yeah, well, I asked Josh at King's Height if he's done it, and he goes, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. He probably has, he probably, <laughs> he probably has, doesn't want to tell yeah. anyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was like, I missed my strike temperature by a little bit, you know, obviously first mash in, and I was like, it's like, hang on a minute. I've got rakes, I've got heat, I've got, <laughs> yeah, I can work I can around this. this. It's like, and, and unbeknownst to me, I left the mash paddle in there and went, oh yeah, I'll just turn these on. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> and then, yeah, I ended up having to cut it out of there. Lucky we've got a hacksaw, but that's the only, yeah. literally the only way I can get it out of there. So, um, yeah, I've got, I keep it on the end of the, the mash tun. I've got a new one built now. <laughs> nice. Find one. Yep. But um, yeah, I keep the old one there. Yeah. The beers that you do down here, um, is it more climatic? relevant um like is it because you're a little bit further south so it's obviously a bit cooler weather a bit longer than it was up in queensland yep. so do you have like 
browns and reds and darks coming out earlier and for longer in the season than you would have made had them at Helios or is it no not it at all it's, matter, uh, no it's more demographic um, you know being regional you know we've got still got a fairly um, green craft green customer base I'm gonna say um, so hazies as we're drinking now you know we've got uh, you know our, our demographic loves hazies and we'll probably go quite haze heavy to be honest so we'll probably you know I think we've got probably four on at the moment yeah to be honest, so um, darks are a bit you of... love brewing hazies, eh? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. so, so I remember telling, um, I, can't, I can't remember what it was about, I remember telling Reese one time, it's a slippery slope, young man, um, just be mindful, now he gives me shit about brewing with lactose, but um, yeah, it's something I've had to work on, it's something yeah. we've spoke about off camera, about Jake at, at Helios, you know, it's something yep. we've, we've just had to put some effort into. Um, and you don't brew for what you want, eh? It's the punter who's drinking the beer and you got to... Yeah, yeah. You yeah, still it's, need to sell the beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and we've got great customers. We've got, you know, massive local support that Sarah and Ryan have built, you know. it's. Um, yeah, we're pretty blessed here, so yeah, and it's, it's... And I've got to, you know, again, I've spoken enough on and off camera about, you know, yeah. I've probably need to broaden my horizons and be a little bit more diverse and, and get out of my stinky old man grumpy brewer <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. mindset and um, embrace. I've got, I've got another sour on. I've got to oh, wow. put a glava sour just on yesterday. Look at you mind, go. So. <laughs> Here we go. Um, get this just, man a new just shirt. Just beep that out. That's, like, <laughs> that's, that's a swear word. Beep that one out, Joel. Um, they're keeping yeah, that in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you've probably not heard me talk like this. No, no, I haven't. No, no. Well, man, I'm about to throw one at you because yeah. um, the, the thing that you've got here and that I know that uh, we didn't get to brew with really at Helios all that much um, was like some of the new age hops coming out, yep. um, like Nectaron and Superdelic and then I know that you've been throwing them in your beers because those hops weren't available, um, not all of them, yep. um, when we were at Helios and so now all these new hops are coming out. Are you enjoying exploring and finding those nuances? And Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we were, Ryan um, excelled at um, at the Indies, at the conference, you know, got us in tight with NZH and, you know, part of their Brack Brewers program. Yep. So, um, Kohu, that's, you know, just won a tidy silver at uh, Royal Queensland. Um, you know, that's an experimental hop. Yep. So, the NZH 104. Um, NZH 105 we brewed with late last year. Um, we've just signed up to get some um, some Kohe and Nelson contract from Freestyle Hops, also in NZ, and um, we'll be part of their trial program as well. So yeah. they're probably probably late. Yeah. You know, it'll, they'll do their nuts and bolts with other brewers, and, yeah. and we'll probably come in for some late. Um, and it's good having Jamie here. You know, Jamie's got some very high-end chefing knowledge and yeah. pastry chefing, so. It's good for me to learn from those guys as well, but absolutely, you know, yeah, I stayed off the hop tra hype train for a long time, and it's like, man, I'm not doing it down here um, if there's shit happening, and we nearly made a cerveza too, I'm embarrassed yeah, okay. to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got to make one. Yeah. We've got to. Yeah. Um, we haven't, thankfully, yeah. but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. We certainly got on the, the nectar on, and this has got nectar on in it. Um, lineup's quite nectar on heavy. The hazy I've got in three has got nectar on in it. Yep. Um, Super Delic, I wasn't such a big fan of. Yeah, Thought okay. there was quite some similarities between nectar, uh, Super Delic, and NZH 104, to be honest. But yep. um, and I'll still vi revisit Talos at some stage oh, too. Oh yeah, yeah, sweaty uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I saw something that reminded me of that recently. Um, I was yeah. at the awards. I think I said that to you. Yeah. And I was like, oh, in well in with the aroma of sweaty socks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man, well, you and I are both out of beers. I reckon it's time we go down and have a chat to Sarah and Ryan and yourself about some of the more stuff. Absolutely. We'll add whoopee. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's yeah. plenty going on, man. There's never a dull <laughs> moment working with those guys. Yeah, so, excellent. Um, yeah, it's, it's super. All right, so guys, here we are with Charlie and Sarah. Man, so finally we're here. We've come down. Charlie was like our first interview. Thankfully, he sat down and we lived through the pain and added it to his resume. Resume. <laughs> <laughs> yep, insert yep. that here. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been wanting to come down for ages. Joel's been down here obviously before, um, and you guys know how much I love you guys anyway. But I'm so stoked to be here. It's going to, till we, once I finish this beer and this interview, oh, it's going to be on. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you been here? How long has it been going? What sort of, like, what sort of did you expect to be here when you first sort of came across this place? Well, we have been opened for about two and a half years now. Yep. So um, we moved, uh, had a move from Victoria, looking for more sunshine, which oh. we totally found here in Wulgulga. 
and um, there not was the last couple of days. But not the last yeah. couple of days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but there was no craft brewery um, on the Coffs Coast um, yeah. at that point in time, and I've been working with Matt at uh, Mornington Peninsula Brewery, which oh, is yeah. now Tar Barrel, yep. and um, we had a plan in our minds to do something similar to what he'd done, which was really a community focused yep. brewery in an industrial estate. And so when we moved up here, yeah, no craft breweries. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Great beer drinking weather. Yeah, 100%. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's the best climate in Australia or something like that here. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah, so we started the process and um, it's been, yeah, it's been a big roller coaster, obviously, as everyone knows. Breweries are big and complex yeah, and yeah. getting one off the ground. It's the it's two industries really. It's manufacturing and it's hospitality. It's not it's not you can't just say oh, I'm a brewery. Yeah. No. You, you've got two separate things. One is run Monday to Friday, which well not always Monday to Friday, but it's it's a separate part of the business which is very managerial related and you have to do it separate to a hospitality. Totally. And the hospital, yeah. we've probably said this, so, and I've said it for a long time, even back in the MASH days, you know, it's like you can make the best beer in the world, but if you don't run your hospital side of the business well, you You've got to have good, well pack up. good service. Yeah. Yeah, and service will kill out anything, yeah. and people will come back for good service yes. over bad product. Yeah. Um, and if you've got good product, good service, <laughs> That's when you start killing it, right? I tell a story often about the worst chicken burger I've ever had in my life in, in a nice little cafe in Byron. <laughs> yeah. And I go back there because I got wonderful service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't care if it ate like a brick. It's like, oh, Here's okay. if I'm going to spend my money, I want to be treated well. Yeah, so, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. important. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I think having a place that people want to come back to has been a serious focus here. Yeah. And um, obviously finding the right space, having some beautiful outdoor area for like families and kids to yeah. run around was a priority. So we did luck upon, I think, this site quite yeah. well, having that, you know, we're, we are in an industrial estate in yeah. a random little town called Woolgoolga and we found a great, a great location. Yeah. Let's talk about that, Woolgoolga and Whoopi. What are you? Who are you? And what's Whoopi? What's Woolgoolga? Like, which is what? Which is <laughs> which? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is one better than the other? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Woolgoolga's just a mouthful. Yep. <laughs> Whoopi's great. Look, I, there's a there's a story going around that Whoopi um, is was named for the rugby teams that used to come. With this was the furthest place they'd play, and so they'd always yep. say we're going to Whoopi. Yeah. Like, up whoop whoop. Yeah. And so it kind of got this nickname Whoopi. I don't know if that's true yeah, or not. Yeah. That's what they say. Um, it is the same thing, but Woolgoolga. Google certainly is a tongue twister. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we went with the abbreviated version. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, so the, this space is really sort of cool. About half of it is brewery um, and the rest, or interior anyway, is your hospital side and then you've got the really cool outdoor area. I haven't been even been out there yet, but I'm going to grab a cardboard box and try and slide down the um, <laughs> end of the fence. Um, that'll, that'll be captured on camera. <laughs> yeah. Joel will get that. Yeah, next minute, as you have a broken wrist. <laughs> um, but that sort of like building out all of these different areas, it's, it's come into like this really cool thing because you've got these really high ceilings, you've got these really nice plants going on here. It's enveloping, but it's still open. Yeah. Uh, was that intentioned, or is that just you had to do that because this was the building that you got dealt with, and you've had to work out how to use it? Yeah, I think both. So it is just a big shed on a hill, right? And when we took it over, it was actually an auto mechanic. So it had three was it, yeah, floor three, to, yeah, yeah. three floor to ceiling partitions. So it was actually a really big job yeah, right. to kind of strip it all out. Yeah. We knew the feeling that we wanted, and I think one of the nice things about breweries like this is you have to kind of have a wow factor, right? When people, they come up the road and they see the, you know, the tin shed on the hill, it's like, okay. But when they walk in, they're like, oh, wow, this is really yeah. cool. And I think for us, it was really important that we brought a different sort of vibe. You know, yeah. we, it's pretty old school coastal here where we are. Yeah, and. Yeah. Um, We've got the RSL in the pub and everyone's kind of done the same thing forever, but this was something really quite, you know, radically new for this yeah. area. And um, we just wanted it to be like a bit like, oh, wow, I didn't expect to see this. Yeah. And, and that's what we've gone with, so yeah. What's been your, your best success that you didn't expect to like even show up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hodgson. Oh, man, over there with his own badge on his side. What do you mean? <laughs> Tickets uh, everywhere, guys. <laughs> um, biggest success, I don't know. I think it's been really our ability to create a vibe in here by doing lots of different things all the time. I just think that 
we've been pretty agile in that. We, we don't ever rest and sit back and go, well, that'll do, that's going to be OK. Um, and the community has responded really well. So I think, you know, we, we, bre we brought some of the biggest acts that have ever been on the coast yep. to this little shed on a hill in Morgulga. Yeah. You know, we had Katie Noonan here last year, which for me was like, Katie Noonan is playing in our shed. <laughs> you know, so I Tim think... Friedman, Tim Mamakin, Friedman, yeah. Ash Grunwald. Yeah. So just seeing how a place like this can, you know, really bring in that sort of vibe and yeah. attract different people, I think that's that's been the biggest thing. Uh, apart from the team, yeah. you know, I think that backs everything up. But I think it's really been that ability to like, okay, what's going to work? Let's try something new. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Um, we're getting the wind up from Joel. Is there anything that we haven't covered that you would love to share and bring up? That not not really for me, man. Other than it's lovely to see you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here, drink some beers together. You know, obviously it wasn't long ago in Brisbane with with Royal Queensland and Joel. Yeah. I've seen Joel for a little while as well. I miss Timmy. He's taken taken sneaky photos of me judging. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, welcome welcome down south. You know, yeah. Yeah. Just, I've, I it's so shit that exciting. it's taken me so long, and now that I know that the highway is so quick and whatnot, it's going to be a lot more, Once I reckon. Once you get to the border. Yeah. Four hours. Four hours. You yeah, can yeah. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Four and a half. <laughs> I'll stop somewhere and have another beer. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having us here. This is great. Um, I'm going to finish this, and I reckon I'm going to start at one end of your tap list and work my way down uh -oh. to the other. <laughs> is this the first time you met me, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Cheers. Cheers.